What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super mini desktop size flag using your scrap wood. Let's get started. Alright, so to start out I just got some uh, scrap 1x2, this stuff has already been ripped. So this stuff is uh, 3 quarter inches wide. And then what I'm going to do is rip it down at 7 16 by 3 quarter inch. And then I'll cut the pieces down to 9 and 3 quarter inches long. All right, so I got all my pieces cut, and next I'm just going to go ahead and sand over the faces with some 220, just to get them all nice and smooth and even. All right, so we got them all sanded, and next up I'm gonna go ahead and just do some torching on the faces of them just to give them a little bit of a distressed look. Obviously you can go as light or as dark as you want to with this. All right, so now that we're done with the torching, I'm gonna go ahead and stain them. So I got some of this Minwax uh, water-based wood stain. This stuff is tinted in crimson, that's for the red. And then I got some denim blue for the blue. And then for the white, I got some of this Varthin water-based wood stain. And then for the union, I'm just gonna measure over five inches from the left side to make a mark. And then I'll hammer in a uh, utility blade to get my uh, my divider for my stain so we can go ahead and get these stained up and usually I do about two coats of this but obviously you can do as many coats depending on uh, what color you prefer All right, so I gave our stain some time to dry up, and now I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing nailed together. I'll just be using an 18 gauge brad nailer with uh, one inch nails, and I'm just gonna get these bottom three nailed together, and then I'll just work my way up and then nail. I think I should be able to nail two at a time, but I'm just gonna do my best to make sure they stay nice and square all the way up. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go ahead and get the stars uh, sprayed on. So I just got my stencil here. Uh, my union is a little bit bigger than what my stencil shows. So I'm just gonna do my best to center it over the union. And then I'll go ahead and tape off all the stripes or just cover them up. And then I'll go ahead and spray the stars out. I'm gonna try and spray them uh, really light and kind of spray them from far away so I don't push up the stencil and get overspray under it. So just try and be as careful as you can with that. All right, so we got the stars sprayed out. Uh, they didn't come out super crisp, just because my boards didn't line up quite perfectly, so they're a little bit fuzzy. But the better you get your boards nailed together flat, obviously the cleaner they'll come out. And then next up, what I'm gonna do, uh, this is optional, but I just have this longer scrap piece of, it's about three quarter inch by five eighths inch. And I'm just gonna cut this to make a small frame for this. Otherwise, you can just finish off these edges however you'd like to. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, get that thing cut, and then I'm just gonna burn it. And then I'll go ahead and use that as my frame. And then the last thing that we have to do is put some sealer on it and then put some hangers on the back. All right, so I got my frame put on. I'm gonna go ahead and get this hanger put on the back. So I just have one large sawtooth hanger and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, center this in the middle. Obviously you can use any picture style hanger for this and make sure you pre-drill your holes just so you don't split 
any of the wood. And if you don't want to use a hanger, you could always just put uh, something on the back to stand it up if you just want it to kind of like stand up on a desk. All right, and then the last thing that we have to do is seal it. So I just have some of this satin clear sealer and I'll just spray a good coat over it and we'll be good to go. All right guys, so there it is all finished up. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, I'd love to hear any other ideas for scrap wood projects. So please leave those in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe for more. And thank you everybody so much for watching.